welcome to my youtube channel web on sky today we will see an example of uh, azure logic app so one can start working on azure logic app and prepare some automation through the workflows of azure logic app and in this video we will see or we will take uh, azure monitor alert system as an example and we'll send it this alert to slack channel and we'll automate this process through the workflows of Azure Logic App and we'll automate this process in order to improve the alert system so we will send the the alert or on emails as well as on the slack channels okay so just to recap that Azure Logic App is a uh, so Azure service that you can that can automate or like some processes through the workflows so it and it is very useful to to work with different services and of Azure Logic App even it is within the infrastructure or there is any service outside of the azure it can integrate with that as well so these are the thing that we will see today and uh, this is an uh, just a theory that you can go through if you want i will put the uh, necessary resources in the description of the video so you can have a look and uh, get an understanding of it so today we will see the example and practical example so let's start before if you are familiar with uh, alert system of Azure monitor so to send notification on email or on somewhere else you you need to create some action group and this is the action group and uh, we have created an action group and we have three emails already to receive this alert so whenever this server will send an alert it will send to these three emails and here in the actions we have used azure alert to slack this is the name of the azure logic app so once the notification gets triggered it will send the alert to this logic app and how we can do that let me show you an example here yes you can click here we need to choose the we can uh, instead of this let me show you from here so here these are the options from where you can choose the Azure Logic App. So just you need to choose Logic App or you can also choose Webhook. So you can put directly the Webhook of the Logic App or you can just choose the Logic App here and give it a name, whatever you want here. And like this, whatever you want, you can give a name. And then you will need to choose okay now here we have this logic app that is here and you just need to choose this logic app if you want to choose uh, if you have chosen logic app here in the drop down so here we are we can choose the name i mean the logic app from the drop down otherwise if you uh, have chosen the webhook then you will need to put the webhook url here so this is how you can uh, send the alert to the logic app and now i will show you the created logic app so that you can have some understanding of it
so here the, as you can see we have this logic app and we have two workflows one is when a HTTP trigger request is received and the other is post message so post message will send the will send the message to the uh, slack channel and here you will need to put the channel name and these are the message that you want to send so these are just like a tags you can choose from here and you will get these uh, information from this request this is the code view example once you start you will get like when and also one thing I forgot you will need to make it yes instead of no enable the common alert schema so that it will send the schema I mean the common alert schema which keeps or uh, which contains the information of the alert and will send it to the logic app and in the logic app this uh, workflow when HTTP request is received this one will pick or will receive the alert schema that you will send from Azure monitor and you can you can manipulate it here the parameters and this is an example of the code that you can and here this is the SKU sample generate so you will need to go through the the documentation of the logic app so that you can have understanding of it otherwise it will this video will be longer uh, to go one by one because here you will need to uh, specify the properties I mean all the thing all the monitoring uh, uh, data will uh, will will be within uh, data key of the schema so in the properties we have three that is alert context essential and these two are required and required me the data will also be here so this data will further will be passed on to this uh, workflow and these are the tags you will choose which has been sent from this workflow and this is the connection to slack so this one is used to to make a connection with the with a slack channel and once the alert is sent it will post a message to the slack channel So this is how you can automate your alert system and send your message to Slack channel. If you have any confusion, anything that uh, is not clear, you can go through the documentation of Azure Logic App and get a detailed uh, understanding of it. And how you get this screen, you can get this screen from Logic App Designer. If once you create a new Logic App, you will uh, need to choose a blank uh, blank template and then from the bl bl blank template you will need to choose HTTP request uh, workflow and then post message in order to uh, complete this workflow and automate the process of alerting system if you find this video useful please like and subscribe my channel